once you have the diagnosis of your electrical problem diagnosed, then there are lots of treatment modalities available. If the heart rhythm is going too fast and it's from the upper chamber, then we can try medical therapy first. After first addressing lifestyle issues such as too much alcohol or too much caffeine, um, and then medications can be very, very uh, effective in stopping uh, fast heart rhythms. There are some rhythms which are, can involve the lower chamber, which can be quite dangerous. Some of the dangerous rhythms associated with the lower chambers might need what's called a cardiac defibrillator, where a device is put in much like a pacemaker, and if you have a dangerous rhythm, it will automatically either pace or shock the rhythm to save you from from uh, even sudden cardiac death. The more common problem that we see, particularly as we get older, is the wiring system cables start to wear out. And sometimes this can result in a very hard, slow heart rhythm or the heart stops. And in that situation, we implant a pacemaker. So a pacemaker is a relatively non-invasive procedure that's done with a small incision under the collarbone and two leads are placed into the heart and it stops the heart from going slow. What we've done here at this hospital is we've managed to perfect the technique where we can place the cables attached to your own wiring system and it uh, gets onto the nature's highway so that when you pace the heart, it doesn't produce dyssynchronous contraction. The old pacemakers used to make the heart wobble a bit, but the new pacemakers that we put in now make it pace very, very smoothly so you don't get deterioration and heart fa failure uh, or heart function which has been occurring in about 12 to 15% of the population in the old pacemakers. So we actually lead the country in that technique and that's called left bundle pacing. So whatever the problem is, whether it's fast or slow, we do have a solution. We have simple medical technology, taking medications, lifestyle modifications, up to more complex procedures for those patients that medications aren't responding.